Hello and welcome to another Blender Know How Tutorial. In this video we're going to get started on how to manipulate some of the vertices within this cube. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up our scripting tab and create a new script. Um, I'm going to turn off those, turn on those two and make it bigger so you can see what I'm typing. And I'm going to import BPY as always. Uh, this time I'm not going to delete everything because we're not going to create a new cube every time. So we're just going to we're going to first off uh, make a variable name. Uh, our object sounds pretty cool, and then we're going to just set it equal to our object. So we're going to take we're going to tell Blender oh, we're going to tell Blender to name to name our object this in Python so that we can we can reference it later. So let's do bpy.data.objects. Uh, That's how we get the, uh, the objects, the data of the objects, and then we can just say um, which index number it would be in. And we can actually look over here in our collection and we have camera. So this would be our index of zero because they start at zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this would be zero. This would be one, and this would be two. Uh, so we can do two, or we can do one, or we could also just type in cube. I just find it easier just to type one. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to type in dot data, just to pull the data of the cube into it. And then to uh, what we're going to do is manipulate each one of these points. Like let's say we go into edit mode. It's like we're going to take this and move it and move this point and move this point. Uh, but we're going to do it faster than we could actually probably do in here. So, And we can actually just leave it like this because it's going to all come out to be the same thing here in a second. But um, this is just for sh explanatory purposes. So now we can just type in 4. Uh, we're going to make a for loop. If you haven't seen that video, you should go check it out. For i in... Uh, the range. And then I'm just going to do the our object object dot vertices. And this will not actually work because this is going to be actually this might work. Let's try this. So let's just now type in our object dot vertices at i. So now essentially what we're doing is we're saying the first time this for loop is run i will be zero. I don't know which vertice is zero but it's going to start at a point. doesn't matter which one. It's going to be here and then the next time it'll be zero then it'll be one and then it'll be two and then it'll be three and four and five and six and seven and, and, and eight. There will be eight vertices that it will uh, go through. So now we can we can reference the the position of it by just saying dot coordinate, which is just co in Python language, and then dot z because we just let's say we want to do the z coordinate. So we're going to make this uh, be flat. It's almost like we're going to go like uh, size it, scale it as zero. That's essentially what we're going to be doing. Um, let me make a new cube though. Here we go. So dot z like this. Now all we have to do is just set it equal to something. So let's just say what we want every point on here to have a z coordinate of two. What will that do? Uh, okay well yeah we can't actually do this. Uh, I was I was wondering if we could do that. We can't, and it's because that'd be. I think that's a list, and I don't think we can quite do that. However, we can do this though. We can just do the length of all of the vertices. So how many vertices? This is an, the size of how many vertices we have, and there'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we can run it. Now it's flattened it and it did exactly what we wanted it to. All we have to do to change this, we could say one and it will just move it down. So we've turned a cube into a plane. 
I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe at the bottom, and check out more of the videos. Uh, thank you.